Hello. Let me finish. We're almost there. Okay, sorry. I can get it done. I'll get it done. Last stop, Lieutenant. Every other server has crashed, but thanks to you, we're still online. We need to get this simulation cleaned and rebooted, or a lot of people are going to die, including you. That reboot should stabilize everything after we clean the virus out. Problem is, that will not be easy. But hey, what has been easy today? These loudspeakers sound okay. This is a recreation of the biotics lab where Borzi made its first cloning breakthroughs. It was all meant to be for the greater good. Greater good. Then the patriarch. <clears throat> it's all During for the, the greater night, good. I was outside the city. My sister and her daughter. She was only five. Oh, I want to now use I that. help Horsine train soldiers like you to take those bastards down. Whoa. Anyway, I really look forward to meeting you when you get out. Current info on what Horsine is doing in this lab is restricted, but um, I have a feeling these tentacles are part of it. They're everywhere. What happens if I shoot that? Centered. The chest should be here, but it's Lieutenant, there's uh -huh. a terminal we can use up ahead. You'll need to hack the security system to get the rest of the doors open. Don't worry, I've got a hugely clever plan for that. Oh hang on, there's some grenades on that desk. What is it with common and high explosives? Dual wheeled in. <coughs> Not that I'm going to use it. Might as well have it. And I've still got a cold. I want to get rid of this cold. Oh, hello. Hello, you. You need to find the hard drive in there with the Z physiological data. I don't know where the cap. Load it into the hard drive reader on the table, and you'll be able to use Z parts to bypass the scanners. 
best I can do without easy access to your medical files, thanks to the virus. Security card. Whoops. scattered around. It looks like Colin ran this last and didn't clean up after himself. For heaven's sake. It's like working with a child. Another axe. What's so special about this one? Yeah, leave that one. Alright, so where is the uh, there, there it is. And where's the device? Have you found the data? Yes. Try putting any drive you find in the reader. Uh, it has to be one of them. Open your eyes. I'm I've not got asking it. for something particularly difficult here. What cough? I've got it. Sorry. Sorry, Lieutenant. Just been a stressful day. I know you're doing your best. Yes. Great. Grab the Z parts in there with you. You should be able to use them to get out of that room. Sorry for locking you in with dismembered Z bits. It was the best way to make sure this crazy plan is going to work. Okay, so I recognition. Okay. I know it's gross, but it's what you have to do. Grab the Z arm, put it on it's the head gross. scanner. I'll drill the wheel for the these. Head, hold it in front of the cerebral scanner. That will open the door. We really don't have time for squeamishness. Oh. Are you crazy? Are you crazy? Going to party up in the door. I'm walking away from there, you're a crazy woman. Maybe we need to go through this door, which means we need a head and an arm. Move it, Lieutenant. I don't think you want to die today. Pick up the Z arm near the boxes and the head across the room. Put the Z hand on the hand scanner and hold the skull Shut in the front fuck of the up. cerebral scanner above it. 
Do it now, Lieutenant. Time waits for no man. And neither do computer viruses trying to look what <laughs> This is just like the door in the security substation. Get some Z parts. Use them in the scanners. <laughs> Need more Z parts, okay. You, you glitched out. Hey, look at me. Are you all right? Hey, calm down. Calm down. You're going crazy. Stop it. Hey, stop it. I guess I can get a closer look at you now you've glitched out. Look at that. Lieutenant, oh. you really okay. need to hurry. I think something is going on out here. I... I don't think I'm alone. I keep hearing um, someone or something moving around out here. Something big. Oh, I will say I need a hand. Come on. Give me an arm. Thank you. There you go. Give me that. Hello. You say you want to go that way, I say I want to go this way. Get ready, boss. This is the big show. The whole reason you're here, and I'm a giant head. 
You've got to get the Z-DNA stored in the master control computers way up at the top of the containment room. Which means you're going to have to kill whatever's in that room. I guess that explains the tentacles. You can't shoot something that big into the great beyond with pistols and shotguns. And I've got nothing. We'll right, figure it out as we go, I guess. I got Hopefully, Colin got left us some clues. I got these. I'm good. With the fickled fingers. Lieutenant! He's here! Enough! I'm done playing with you! I am your master now, the supreme being. You will deliver the vile mission data to me. My patience is limited, Lieutenant. But MS suffering is not. Okay, we'll put something in. In that, but I can't see what, where. Oh, okay. The Z data. You are after it as well. The virus was leading you here the whole time. Clever. For a collection of evolutionary dead ends. Get out my face. The virus has infected the vile matron. Unfortunate. Such a terrible blasphemy against a beautiful creation. I can see that. Can I use these on you? Speaker system. Excellent. Sounds like the Patreon decided to show up. So dramatic. It's a shame about Emma. I'm sure she was going to score. I mean, she works for Halsey, but nobody likes having their head squashed by a self absorbed, overly dramatic freak. Did you know he has a chain gun for an arm? What is this? An 80s movie? Anyway, you need to use the two hack tools mm -hmm. to lower the elevator. Get to it, mate. Back off. Back off. That one was super gross. Can you shoot the bile? With a try at least. 
what? Maybe if you can put a lot of pain into the tentacles or the heads, it will distract them. Good work. The elevator is heading down. Sorry to crash your party, Patty. Usually I meet your stones at bullet regifting okay. parties, so we don't get many opportunities to talk. How you been? How are the kids? Yeah, right. Get on the elevator. Me. It only gets worse from here. Do Hickey does something that will hurt it a lot? Well, I'm already on it. I would have been. What the hell? Oh, what the hell? Why is it good? Continues to prattle. Your lack of progress merely earns your future suffering. You will pay for every mistake in blood. Wow, he seems testy. Uh -oh. Is he always like this? Maybe it was something he ate? Bad gas? I hear being a mutant freak can cause that. Get to the handle. Grab the handle, rotate them until they turn green. Then pull. Yes, yeah, hello from uh, Paul.
There's more there than the naked eye can see. Get out there and drop the canister. And take delicious thoughts. of such a beautiful creature must be killed. Go to the control room. We will end this there. Good work, mate. Node is putting together the data you've collected throughout this whole freaking ordeal. Hard part's done. We've just got to get over the goal line, and we're through. You'll spit out a hard drive with the data any second. You may not want to listen to me, Lieutenant, but Foster is as much your enemy as I am. Give me the device. If you don't believe me, listen to Emma. Listen, the thing about Foster, he's... He's not what he says he is, Lieutenant. Foster set this whole thing up so he can sell the Z data. It was his virus that removed the safety protocols, and he was the one who clubbed you over the head. He's not your friend. Plus, crashing the server will kill everyone, relying on it for life support. Hundreds will die if you give the data to Foster. Put the data in the reader on the right and then press the button. That will reboot the server and keep the data in Horsine's hands, not out there in the world making everything worse. What are you? Look, some people will die if we crash this server, true. But this info will help us save thousands, if not millions of lives by turning the tide against the Zeds. Yeah, it's a tough break and a terrible decision to make. But you need to put that drive in the reader on the left and push the button if you want to save the world from being Zedified. Look at the monitors. These people are the ones you will be killing. People just doing their jobs. Please, the Patriarch. He's right here. Please. If you give that data to Foster, I'm dead microseconds later. His gun is to my head. Don't kill me, Lieutenant. You sound fair. Put the data in the reader on the right and press the button. You're a bad actor. Save me. You're a very bad actor. I've already chose that side. You need to send the data to me now, Pot. The simulation is crashing in the next minute and you're dead if you're still in there. Put the hard drive in the reader on the left and hit the button. Send the data now. Let's not waste this. Okay, well there's 10 seconds left, that's when I'm going to do it. Give me the data, you have no time. This server will crash in 30 seconds. I must have it for my children, for my new world, and you'll die too. Actually, when the you don't want to die, do, do you, Lieutenant? You've got ten bloody seconds! Do it now! Whew. 
Good job. I'll be waking you up directly. See you in a few. Okay. After okay. all I did to help you, and you betray me, you imbecile. Who do you think my boss is? Did my screaming sound convincing? No. How about, thank you, Lieutenant, or oh, you're so awesome, Lieutenant. The Patriarch said he could bring my family back. That we could be together again. Now, now you've ruined everything, you stupid bastard. You cost me my family. But you'll get what's due. You're strapped to a surgery table in a horsing base. Well, no. How do you think this is going to end for you, whoever you are? Do I give a damn? Have you free in a sec? Okay, thank you. Patriarch is here, so I'm using the chaos from the virus to get you out. Not part of the original plan, but hey, I'm not really one for plans. Hope you're ready to run and gun as we're going to have to fight our way I out. Go ahead. You did a real good job. That data is going to save the world. When we get out of here, those beers are on me. Nice one. Good work, mate. Node is putting together the data you've collected throughout this whole freaking ordeal. Hard part's done. We've just got to get over the goal line and we're through. We'll spit out a hard drive with the data any second. You may not want to listen to me, Lieutenant, but Foster is as much your enemy as I am. If you don't believe me, listen to Emma. Listen, the thing about Foster, he's... He's not what he says he is, Lieutenant. Foster set this whole thing up so he can sell the Z data. It was his virus that removed the safety protocols, and he was the one who clubbed you over the head. He's not your friend. Plus, crashing this server will kill everyone relying on it for life support. Hundreds will die if you give the data to Foster. Put the data in the reader on the right, and then press the button. That will reboot the server and keep the data in Horzine's hands, not out there in the world making everything worse. What are you? Look, some people will die if we crash this server, true. But this info will help us save thousands, if not millions of lives by turning the tide against the Zeds. Yeah, it's a tough break and a terrible decision to make. But you need to put that drive in the reader on the left and push the button if you want to save the world from being zedified. Look at the monitors. These people are the ones you will be killing. People just doing their jobs. Please, the Patriarch. He's right here. Please. If you give that data to Foster, I'm dead microseconds later. His gun is to my head. Don't kill me, Lieutenant. Put the data in the reader on the right and press the button. Save me! You need to send the data to me now, Carter. The simulation is crashing in the next minute and you're dead! Good choice, Lieutenant. You saved scores of lives, but only for today. I was never on your side. You should have listened to your friend, Mr. Foster. Did my screaming sound convincing? How about my thank you, Lieutenant? Or you're so awesome, Lieutenant. <laughs> the Patriarch is going to return my family to me, and then he will elevate mankind. We will be part of his new world, thanks to you. The Patriarch will lead us to a new era. The boss will be by to uh, finish your surgery shortly. Thank Goodbye you. and thank you for your help. You're welcome. Whoever bitch. you are. Come with you next. Good choice, fool. Congratulations on bringing me the blueprint for the destruction of all mankind. 
Now all those people you saved can serve as food for my own vile matrons. I can already hear the cacophony of their screams. So sweet. Soon you will join them. Goodbye, whoever you are. My children will come for you shortly. Node is putting together the data you've collected throughout this whole freaking ordeal. Hard part's done. We've just got to get over the goal line and we're through. You'll spit out a hard drive with the data any second. You may not want to listen to any me, second? Lieutenant, but Foster is as much your enemy as I am. If you don't believe me, listen to Emma. Listen, the thing about Foster, he's... He's not what he says he is, Lieutenant. Foster set this whole thing up so he can sell the Z data. It was his virus that removed the safety protocols, and he was the one who clubbed you over the head. He's not your friend. Plus, crashing this server will kill everyone relying on it for life support. Hundreds will die if you give the data to Foster. Put the data in the reader on the right, and then press the button. That will reboot the server and keep the data in Horzine's hands, not out there in the world, making everything worse. What are you... Look, some people will die if we crash this server, true. But this info will help us save thousands, if not millions of lives by turning the tide against the Zeds. Yeah, it's a tough break and a terrible decision to make. But you need to put that drive in the reader on the left and push the button if you want to save the world from being zedified. Look at the monitors. These people are the ones you will be killing. People just doing their jobs. Please, the Patriarch, he's right here. Please. If you give that data to Foster, I'm dead microseconds later. His gun is to my head. Don't kill me, Lieutenant. Put the data in the reader on the right and press the button. Save me! You sound like you're lying. You don't sound all that truthful. Where did it go? You need to send the data to me now, Park. The simulation is crashing in the next minute, and you're dead if you're still in there. But where did it go? Put the hard drive in the reader on the left, and hit the Where's the, the hard drive? Where's Send the hard... data now. Let's not waste this. Where's the hard drive? I put it on that table. Oh my god, come on. Did it go through? Give me the data! You have no time! This server will crash in 30 seconds! But I, I need... must have it! For my children! For my new world! And you'll die too! But it's not you available! You die! Do you, Lieutenant? I've lost it! You've got 10 bloody seconds! Do it now! I've lost it! How can I do it if I've lost it? Give me another one! Simulation failure due to death. Please observe standard procedure for life support failure. I hope you have enjoyed your Horzine Corporation Z Containment Training Simulation. But that wasn't have fair. a nice day. That was not fair.